I'm Cam, Cam the Science Man. Today, we'll be talking about the physical properties of minerals. Uh, by the way, Cam stands for crazy about minerals. Let's explain what physical means. Physical means something that describes how something is made or built. Now, let's explain property or characteristic. A property or characteristic is a special feature that describes something. And last but not least, physical properties don't change and are not a matter of opinion. Now that that's out of the way, we can focus on the physical properties of minerals. First we have color. You determine the color by simply looking at it. Now we have hardness. Here we have magnetite. First, we start by trying to scratch it with our fingernail. And it looks like there's no scratch. Now we try a copper wire. And it didn't scratch. Now we try a nail. And it doesn't look like it's scratched. Now we have a glass spool. And it looks like there's no scratch there. So that tells me that this, this magnetite is between the hardness of this bowl and this nail. Hardness is measured in mode scale, which is 1 to 10. At the, top, at the top is diamond, and at the bottom is talc. Now, we're going to move on to luster. Luster of a mineral can be determined by your eyes and a magnifying glass. So, this galena looks like it has a metallic luster because it is very shiny. Also, it reflects light. Now, something like this calcite has a non-metallic luster because of its dull, um, dull luster. Now, we have streak. We're going to test the streak of galena. And the streak is a, um, blackish color. I'm using a unpolished ceramic tile. Now, we have cleavage, which is how the mineral breaks apart into smooth surfaces. Such as this calcite, it looks very polished. Now we're moving on to two special properties. First we have magnetism. So we start with some iron filings. Now, we take our magnetite we use earlier, tap it on the iron filings, and you can see a small iron formation on there. Now, we're moving on to reactions to acid. Now, how you test for this is you take your calcite and a nail, you scratch, a crack in it, then you keep some vinegar, hold it over the bowl, and pour it in. And you can hear it sizzling, which means that this calcite has a reaction to acid. Well, thank you for joining me in my short um, presentation about rocks and minerals. Now, back to Dr. Tass. Yay! Excellent job! That was perfect!